Hello and welcome to the uh, Couch Surfers podcast. Number one. Number one, yes. Which uh, is the continuation of the Couch Surfers thing we launched with Castle Crashers. <laughs> yes. And the continuation slash spiritual successor to, what was it, 4RP, 3RP, whatever we called it? The other podcast we were doing. Yeah. Same, RP. I don't know. same concept. We're going to... New and... Yeah. We're going to talk Wouldn't about... Wouldn't go improved. We're going to talk <laughs> about the game we just played on that and how bad my hair's all pressed down with the headphones and go from there. Yeah. So, Castle Crashers. What do you think? Me. I love it. It's exactly as good as I remembered it. I, I've been through the game a couple of times with a couple of different friends and it's still just as fun as it was. So I, I'm still happy. It's like a big nostalgia hit because I haven't played it in probably about five or six years. Probably longer, actually, now that I think about it. Well, it only came out eight years ago. On Steam. Oh. I don't remember when the initial one came out, but anyway, what did you think anyway? I'm, I'm, more, I'm more interested in your thoughts because I've played the crap out of this game. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely play it again. I kind of want to play more of it now, but I know that you want to play Resident Evil 3. Which came out yesterday. Once again, dating this, but yeah, that's fine. Um, also, we can put that in the tag now. What? Resident, Resident Evil, Evil 3. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> yeah. Um, I think probably going forward, if we do any more like casual streaming, we'll probably end up playing this at some point. Yeah, most likely. I'm hoping we can do some casual streaming. It's, uh, it's a little bit easier at the moment, I guess. But yeah, anyway. No, yeah. it's it's going to be easier soon, hopefully. What, what, what did you think about the the what is it the, the flash animation type? Graphics? I liked it. It it was it's it brings back the nostalgic feeling of when I used to watch stuff like um, uh, Salad Fingers and um, stuff like that. The flash animation style. Okay. It's because that's that's what I can relate it back to. Yeah, I've never played a game that's got this sort of thing. I guess I don't think she really class adventure pals as a similar yeah thing. It's obviously it's a completely different game and a different style. Style it's still a side scroller, but yeah, it's it's the same kind of feel. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't know much about Castle Crashers, are made by uh, the Behemoth, I think their name is. I probably should have. Um that up before this but they made a bunch of new ground stuff and one of them was alien hominid hd or alien hominid which was made into a xbox original game back in the day i believe i have that mm -hmm. um thank you somewhere yeah the behemoth what else did they have they got on steam just for because i know they got click on the developer yeah so i know they have alien hominid i know they have battle block theater so castle Cra castle crashes pit people just, uh, two go different to, kinds go the, here. Go to the list. Lists. Oh, browse, I guess. Sorry, we're very professional, as you know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so just got some DLC. They haven't even got an Alien Hominid on there. But you flick back over to the other one. But yeah, it's... Oh. I, I, no, the OBS. Thank you. I can see my lovely face. Fair. Yeah, I think they were one of the first, like, big... Flash type game studios to actually make it onto the console, I believe, which is kind of fun. I remember playing that a little bit back in the day as well, which is another game we should play at some point, even that it was kind of old, which was there. That was the original one, Alien Hominid. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I have it on the original Xbox somewhere, but I mean, God bloody knows what I have and don't have at this point. Yeah. Oh, lot. Yeah. What about um, the, the, the things I'm interested in? What you're thinking of? The music? The controls, the the humor, and w w the humor was shitty. Ha ha ha! Let's start with the controls. What do you think of the controls? I I personally remember them being very just spot on, and I I felt the same thing again. Like we're playing on a fairly decent, old but decent monitor, so it's you know very low see, latency and all that. I liked it. It was it was fairly good. I think there were times where it felt a little bit laggy, but not all the time. Um, yeah, so I'm just 
there's other stuff I want to talk about, but that's not really related to the controls. Just keep talking. It's then. like you, the issues I had was when you know you've got the other enemies and they just keep firing at you, and you, it doesn't give you a chance to get up at all. Yeah, and it, it just you're just like, well, why? Why do I want to keep playing? And then you get out of that. It's like, okay, cool, I want to play again, but it's yeah, that moment where you're getting bombarded from both sides with yeah. you get an arrow you get up you get an arrow you get up, up arrow so I had that happen to me a couple of times where I was stuck down for like five or six shots and I just couldn't get up until I think he hit someone yeah. there is no like invincibility frames or anything like that it's quite uh, hardcore quite raw it's definitely yeah full on like I, I, it was really annoying I still wouldn't say that it's a downside to the game but it's not a fun part of the game yeah it does it does add the difficulty but not in a fun way in my yeah. opinion yeah it's a better way to put it like maybe not saying it's unfair but it's definitely not balanced i think yeah even though we spent like five minutes juggling a guy but that's one enemy out of like a thousand that we killed so yeah and there was only one different. enemy on screen like there's these it could be what up to about 15 but when we were fighting so. that shadow looking boss thing there was like 20 of those little fuckers on the yeah. screen so it's it's all dependent, and even when we were fighting that the, the first big boss, the thing that shit me about that one, and it's 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 minor, it's part of the, the design, but you had like the foreground crowd popping up, yeah. And especially when you got knocked down and you were unconscious, and I was trying to save you, and the foreground would pop up, and I couldn't see where you are to go and save you, and I was also stuck down there. I got hit. Yeah, that that was not. That's not good design at all. No, but I, I think it, it it's both good and not good though. So it's it's like not good because obviously it's not very fair. Yeah. But it's good because it also adds to that little bit of like humor that Ooh. the the the, the style of the game kind of thing. Yeah. Like I didn't mind it, but it's obviously very annoying when you're trying to not get murdered, which is generally what you want to do. Yeah. But in, in saying that, it's still quite fair because it's not too hard to defeat one of your opponents but it's still hard enough that you feel like you've got a challenge yeah and i think like as we leveled up we like i was at level seven by the end you were level five or six mm. like the game's difficulty ramp was like you you would level up like like this and then the game's difficulty would sort of follow it along so it wasn't ever i, I think the game is paced really well i think it's it's quite um yeah, just once again, balanced mm. in that kind of way, where it's, as you go along, it gets harder, but you also can specialise in magic or specialise in archery or just become an absolute tank. And Yeah, and, and with that, with the whole the levels becoming more difficult, it, it the scenery does as well. Yeah. Like, you have things where you think it's in the background, but it's actually right in front of you and you've got to move around it rather than being able to just go straight in front of it. Which is, I mean, it's a big problem with 2D games in general. Yeah, because oh. I got stuck multiple times. Yeah. Like, so I, I've what got, do I do? <laughs> I've got fairly bad eyesight when it comes to that kind of stuff to begin with. Like, even in real life, I run into too many walls to think about. But in games, I struggle. Even in 3D games, like I'll run into things a lot because I can't really tell the foreground from the background. And when, when something's like solid color, like the foreground thing is green and the background color is slightly darker or slightly lighter green i I can't tell the difference mm. i don't know if you have that same issue sometimes so there, were, there was a couple of issues where it wasn't quite contrasty enough but i mean that's to me that's minor because it wasn't that big of a deal it was only like one time when i had a bit of trouble with that which was just before that that fuzzy boss uh. the guy jumped out and i thought he was in the very background and i thought but he wasn't. He was in the middle of the the, the uh, thing. Yeah, is that where he jumps off the middle platform? Yeah, the, the yeah. archway kind of thing. Yeah. So I think we both had trouble with that, which is funny. Yeah, it's, it's it's the game though. Yeah. What did you think of the music? I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally like the music. It's quite jaunty and mm. it fits the game very well. But if you weren't listening, it's... I mean, fuck you then, I guess. <laughs> I was just I was too intrigued in the game itself. Um... What I remember it was, it was nice. It's it sort of quite happy go lucky. It's they can do one of these to it. Yeah, it's not what you'd expect from a it's a side scrolling fighting game. Yeah, but at the same time, it's exactly what you'd expect it to be. 
yeah so one of the reasons i do like this game is it's quite a theme for me it doesn't take itself very seriously like one level you had like six animals shit themselves mm. and it, it it's very childish but the game does not take itself seriously and i think that adds to it like your that the last level we did where you're riding the deer i say deer yes deer deer and the one you're following to sort of see where you're going is just shitting himself and he's not actually moving his legs he's just using his diarrhea to propel him across the screen yeah and it leaves a trail yeah which is so childish but i mean i, I like that not not so much that kind of humor but i like that the game doesn't take itself very seriously and it it creates a environment where the game can be a little bit comedic it doesn't have to be so serious and you can just have fun with it rather than being you know, nitty and sorry gritty i say nitty nitty gritty yeah, yeah that's why i said it. yeah it doesn't have to be so gritty it doesn't have to be so all the time it could be a little bit silly it sets the precedent where if it does want to do something that's a little bit funny or a little bit silly it can do that without breaking the, the theme of the game and, yeah, I, and I, I like that i think that's all to do with the graphic style of of it as well it's it's got that sort of funkiness to it that it's you're not going to expect it to be 100 percent straightforward yeah, serious yeah like, serious yeah there is going to be those parts where it's like, oh, this might be a bit different, interesting. Yeah. So I, I still remember the first time I fought one of the bosses. I um, sorry, one, first time I beat one of the bosses. I didn't say the word beat there for a second. Whew, long day. Um, and he falls into a pit of lava, and he's like the size of Arnie. So, like at the end of Terminator Two, he does the thumbs up thing as he goes into the lava. Yeah, uh, I find that very funny because I'm, I quite like Terminator 2 and it's like, oh, I get it. Uh -huh. I obviously laughed a little bit more seriously the first time, but yeah, I found that very funny and because the game hasn't t taken itself seriously up to that point, it can do that and it doesn't catch you off guard. It's like, well, oh, this is kind of weird. It's like, oh no, that fits. I find it quite humorous. It fits the theme and it's just, it's just yeah. great. Because it's, it's very much, very sporadically placed in the game. Yeah. It's not just like, Lots of serious then funny, lots of serious funny. It's, it's sort of... Yeah, just bits and pieces. Yeah. And even just with scenery. Just sort of... Like there was one point where one of the enemies was washing its clothes on a, on a washing board. Yeah. And, and then, then when he sees you, he jumps off and you start attacking you. And like, that's... Yeah. That's quite fun. I like that. And yeah. then, uh, what was the other one they had? They were sleeping. Yeah. I mean, when it murdered them, it was quite fun. Don't take that out of context once again. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, you know, going back to the whole animals shitting themselves, you've got an owl that was just sitting there. It's like, oh, you know, we might be able to do something to this owl. Keep jumping at it and it just... Shit itself and died. Yeah. Shit itself three times and then just died. <laughs> yeah. Made a fart noise. Um, not my kind of humour, as much as that joke amused me. <laughs> but, I mean... It, it just, as I say, I like that it sets the pressure that the game doesn't have to take itself seriously. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. And I don't think you have to be one that's into fart jokes, fart jokes and poop humor and stuff like that to still enjoy and be able to, I guess, respect the jokes. Yeah. Just like have a bit of fun with it. Like, oh, this is stupid, but it's, it's, it's having fun. It's. Yeah. You can see past the poop jokes because it's not a yeah. very. I was going to say, it's not a very constant thing, but all the animals are shitting themselves. So it's... At the start they were, yeah. Yeah. So one of the things I quite like about in that sort of theme is the blacksmith is all the weapons you found can be found at the blacksmith, but it's in like this massive snake monster thing. <clears throat> and you actually go inside the snake monster and it's just, they're just sitting on his, like his carcass, inside of his carcass. And you just go and grab one off the wall and you nick off back to fight some stuff. Yeah. And that's, that's cool. I quite like that. I think... A game that took itself seriously couldn't do that, and I find that really funny. Yeah, and then you've got an arc on the other side where yeah. you can go in and possibly where all the animals are yeah. or something. Yeah, so you collect yeah. little tag along animals who help you. The animal he had get, brought him fruit to health every now and then, mm -hmm. which obviously didn't help you considering how much you died. Yeah. What did yours bring you? Mm -mm. Good fortune? You weren't paying attention. I didn't see anything. I, didn't, I don't know what that one did. Oh, okay. So it might have done like a boosting of strength, I don't know. 
We'll look it up later. Yeah. Probably should have looked it up before this, but I mean, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, though, the biggest sort of positive with that game is we were playing it for, what, nearly 40 minutes? Well, I think it was exactly 40 minutes. And it wasn't a... It didn't feel like 40 minutes, to me, at least. No, no. I honestly thought we were only playing for about 15, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So once you sort of get rolling with it, it it's it's very hard to stop. It's are you having constant fun. It's that it's not unfair. It's not crap. Whoops. Well, it's it's un it's fairly unfair, like it's unfair, but it's a fair way of it being unfair. <laughs> that makes sense. Like it's unfair enough that you can still do shit. It's okay. Sure. I don't, I don't really know how. I to know respond what I'm to that. trying to say. I'm sure everyone does, but I don't know how to respond to that anyway. Uh, do we want to do ratings? Give it a number? Or do you want to just go... Uh, I, I think we'll, we'll avoid the number system from now. Oh yeah, this, as this is the first podcast, I think we could just do a thumbs up or thumbs down. Like a, you should play this or you shouldn't play this. Cash money or trash money. Don't ever do that again. That was not very cash money of you. Um... He's allowed to do it. I'm allowed to do it. Not sponsored. No, but this is the cheapest drink that we went to the shop, so. And healthy, because it's got two calories. And cancer-causing sugar. Yeah, true. Is this the 951950? It is 951950. We're dying. Um... <laughs> Apparently that was funny. So me personally, I I recommended it before we started playing. I recommended it during we were playing, during when we were playing. Recommended it after we were finished. And I'm recommending it now. If you can get four people together, this the game is absolute chaos. But playing it on your own is still fun. Playing it with two people is still fun. Yes. And was like twenty one dollars at the moment on the Steam. Yeah, twenty twenty something uh, Australian dollars. Um, yeah, twenty one fifty Australian. Yeah. I think it's going to be like it'll come down during the winter sale and all that. They're usually quite cheap. Uh, the last time was eighty percent off for the look of it. Yeah, but yeah, I personally think you should buy it. I think this game is great, and I can't. I'm. I, I really want to play it some more, but I've already gone through it like four times, and I want to play Resident Evil after this, so that's probably what I'm going to do. We'd say come and watch the stream, but this is in the past. It's follow his twitch stream anyway yeah link will be down below and i'll throw his down too even though i think you're hijacking my stream again tonight aren't you yeah would you recommend this game 100 percent. there you go and also if you go to the steam page it's got like what does i say forty seven thousand ish ratings 96 yeah. percent of them are positive i mean that's pretty intense and pretty good so it's not just us two idiots recommending it it's it's pretty much everyone yeah, and that looks like it's on now that sale. Uh, maybe. We'll have a look at it later. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Just, yeah. Buy it. Yeah, buy it. And play it. And with uh, Remote Play, whatever they call it, Steam Remote Play. What do they call it? I don't know. The thing where you can play non-multiplayer online games online. You have no excuse. Get some friends together on a couch. That's what my preference is. Otherwise, play on the internet. We, we would be on a couch if we had a couch. But... Get them in the same room. We should get a couch. You, you, are you the cat now? We buy a boat. What? The meme. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I think that that's it, unless you wanted to say anything else. Uh, no. Okay. I guess... <laughs> take, take, take us take take us out yeah thank you very much for uh watching and or listening um yeah we should put put this on some audio based yeah we'll we'll try and find something they'll, they'll it'll be somewhere and if you're listening to it you've obviously found it oh yep like sure obviously they have but listen to it otherwise we're just talking into the void and no one's ever gonna hear this and that's a possibility either way they're, they're gonna watch it but they're not gonna just here anyway 
yes thank you very much for watching uh all the links will be down below um like subscribe follow whatever it is wherever you're watching or hearing this and we will see you next time and play castle crashes yes bye, bye. <laughs>